back into this game. Some way to score a couple of baskets. It's normally Larry Bird. He scored 17 in the first half. He has only seven in this second half. Under four minutes to play. Fourth period. Byron Scott. He has been the real key for the Lakers off the bench. Kareem, turn around. Remember what Pat Riley told you? He says you can forget about a migraine if you have it once you get into the flow of the game. And keep in mind, Kareem did not have the migraine when the game started. He's in the flow, though. He sure has been. Bird is trapped. Harris. And worthy the rebound. Out to Magic. He's got Cooper and Scott. Here's Byron Scott. And now McHale gets Boston running. Danny Ainge. Cooper shadowing him. Won't give him an inch. Dennis Johnson puts a fake on Worthy and backs it. Oh, no! But with just about three minutes to go, it's the Lakers again. And then Lakers know they're going to go back to Boston. I think that was the clincher right there, Dick. Ains for three. And it's still Boston ball as Kareem loses it out of bounds. Kareem and Parrish, the two centers who have stayed in there with five personal fouls and will continue to stay in there. A 10-point lead for the Lakers with two minutes and 42 seconds remaining. And another turnover. Another nail in the Celtic coffin for game six. going in and the Lakers are making a statement to the Boston Celtics Thomas we're back in it you better be ready in Beantown 216 to go a LA foul they're in the penalty so Danny Ainge will go to the line and shoot but the Boston bench tells you all you need to know about the sixth game It'll be played Tuesday night at 9 o'clock Eastern time in Boston Garden. We don't anticipate the same kind of steam heat, but it'll be hotter there than here. And I think the Lakers, after the experience of Friday, will make some changes in their preparation coming into that game and that scene. Particularly without Bob McAdoo. Uh, who may not be able to play with a strained ligament. And also the way they handle the heat at the Garden. So they've got a lot of things to think about. Danny Ainge with the show. Lakers won game one at Boston Garden. The Celtics took game two in overtime at home. And then a week ago, the 33-point route by Pat Riley's team before the Celtics gamely fought back in overtime to win the fourth. And then game five on Friday was Boston big. I give Pat Riley a lot of credit. Came up with some uh, real strategy in this ball game to shake that fast-breaking game loose just when they needed it. Michael Cooper, 21 points. Magic Johnson, 21 points. James Worthy, 18. But Kareem with 28 points. And Dennis Johnson with a three-pointer. And Dennis now with 20 or more for three straight games in this series two minutes to play nine point lead for the Lakers worthy and the Lakers have four players with 20 or more in this game Bird feeding Parrish who goes in for the easy layup Larry Bird the Celtic leading scorer with 24 and less than a minute and a half to go established that they can get the rebounds against this team or at least create their own tempo by scramble defense and there was some head knocking early and maybe the Lakers gave the Celtics a bit of a message early in the first half well I think Pat Riley's initial thought to go to speed was the answer particularly on defense he reserved that scramble defense for just the right time under a minute Lakers by nine points for Abdul Jabbar and I don't know how many people after we found out that Kareem was sleeping and really ill 
in the dressing room before the game expected Abdul Jabbar to score 30. Here's Cooper, and now Scott. That's why you never know. And Byron Scott, his 11 points, is going to be the points everyone's going to talk about. It's been my experience that the least expected player usually comes through in a tough ball game. Certainly nobody thought Scott was going to do it, but he certainly has provided it today. And I remember Brent Musburger's comment before our game number five. He says, I think somebody will come out of the wing to play an important game here. Well, Brent only missed it by one because he might have been thinking of a guy like Byron Scott, who has scored 11 points and has played a terrific defensive game. As we told you earlier, the Boston Celtics have never lost a seventh and deciding game in a championship. And as you can see, the Lakers have never won one. We'll find out if that all changes or stays the same Tuesday night, 9 o'clock Eastern. Down underneath, I had a feeling all along that this was going to be a classic. There's already some signs of great strategy moves, some personal challenges by ball players like Dennis Johnson, Manny Johnson, and even Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. It's been everything a series you'd want to have in it. point lead for the Lakers just using the time and adding to their lead eight seconds to go we're gonna go to Boston for game seven and who would have it any differently as Larry Bird has his 28th point it's over Victory for the Lakers. The Celtics are not surprised. Pat Riley's team is even. And it's going to be Casey and Riley, Parrish and Kareem, Magic and Larry Bird in the deciding game Tuesday night. And Abdul Jabbar scored 30 points to lead all scores. Larry Bird had 28. A dramatic victory by the Lakers. Los Angeles Lakers have even this NBA World Championship Series at three victories apiece and they did it in dramatic fashion the boston celtics ahead by 11 points and then pat riley used the man who kevin lockery says should have been used all along and that was the guard kevin byron scott and he ignited a furious rally scott was great uh, he could shoot the outside shot he will take the big outside shot the celtics have to respect him and he really ignited the club they could not have won without him today i must say that all series long and perhaps all playoffs long Everyone, and I think fans in both cities are included, have looked forward to a seventh game in this championship series. And now we're going to have a Tuesday night. The man of the hour is standing by with Pat O'Brien. Let's go to him. Thank you, Brett. Uh, 30 points. You had a great game despite being ill before the game. Yeah, I uh, was having a problem with a, with a migraine. But, uh, you know, this is uh, what we played the whole season for. I didn't want to miss it. Pat Riley said before the game that he didn't want the Boston Celtics celebrating in your town. I guess you feel the same way. Well, uh, there's been a lot said about uh, Celtic tradition and pride. Uh, they're not the only team with pride. We, we have a lot of proud guys and, and good athletes, and uh, we just weren't playing well. And uh, we figured that we had a little bit better to give, and uh, we gave it today. Can you characterize this series? It seems like this is going to go down in one of the great series, Kareem. Well, yeah, it's been, there's been a whole lot of turns of fate here. Uh, so far, we've we've played well enough to win. Uh, played well enough to win five games, and we've only won three. And uh, those kind of things can disappoint you. But uh, it's down to one game now. We'll see who's the best team.